Denny's and Fresno we used to go to every, every night when we were like, it was like the Early equivalent college. of a bar. Like we were like, like 18. Oh yeah. We would just go and stay for like three hours. We also used to used to bust tables. Like oh, you used to go to other tables and eat their food. Yeah. 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 You didn't tell me that before no. I married you. No. This was the rule. <laughs> this was the rule. What? No. Hold well, on. Hold on. No. 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 no, no. <laughs> Let me explain myself. Well, all right. I think I've heard enough. It's no, no. It's it's fair game if it is something that has not been touched. I Who eat. Who orders shit and hasn't been touched? You'd be surprised. Dinner? My name is Nick Irvin. I'm the executive chef and partner of St. Martha Restaurant in Koreatown, Los Angeles. St. Martha is the patron saint of cooks and servants. We really based our entire concept around that idea of old world hospitality, of relax. We got this, just enjoy yourself. That coupled with the food, which is comfort food dishes done with a fine dining ethos, but it's not. Think of this as food that you have to get in there and get your hands dirty, and you know, you're know you probably gonna get some on your pants, and that's okay. This is a place where you can lick the bowl and no one's gonna be upset. And the end of the day, we're in a rundown strip mall in Koreatown. You can't be that fine dining. I always like Koreatown. I think it's one of those areas of the city that has been sort of forgotten for so long. It's not glamorous as downtown. It's not as wealthy as mid-city. It's just sort of in-between zone. And I wanted to come in here and kind of just be a neighborhood spot. The hipster light stays on until the last dessert goes out, and that's kind of our kitchen's closed sign. The hipsters have left the building. Each item on the menu, there's sort of a base thought behind it. What we try to do here at St. Martha is kind of take dishes that are familiar and kind of twist them on their head. Chips and guac are like my favorite thing in the world to eat. I love it, I can eat it every day. And we wanted to put a chips and guac on the menu, so ours is brulee sea urchin, avocado mousse, shaved chili, and the chips are seaweed Doritos. But you eat it like it's chips and guac. Like chip, chips and guac from the sea. People talk about our steak and oyster tartare with bone marrow beignets and champagne savion. The bone marrow beignets are filled with liquid bone marrow that you bite into and it gets everywhere. There's a surprise factor. People are afraid of raw steak and raw oyster. It can be scary things, but together it tastes like a cheeseburger. That's kind of what we try to do with the food, is that play of it's unexpected and it's new. My wife Betsy and Anar uh, joined us at St. Martha to get the party started. Betsy is she's an actor, a comedian, all around general badass, black belt in karate. Anar is one of our friends that we've known forever. She's also an actor. She came from New York. Lady knows her food. She's always down to go out. I want the love potion. The love potion. Start with some soju. It's a good night. It's a great night. Woo! That'll do you. I get one night off a week, so I knew that I was probably gonna go pretty big. We have not gone to like multiple establishment in one night like this. In a while. Yeah. In a while. In a while. In a while. Yeah. Try it out at Tart. It's just a cool space, great outdoor patio, and uh, it's a great vibe. All right, let the debauchery begin. Oh, shit. Yes. We rolled up. Uh, my friend Alex was there waiting for us. Anar and Alex met at my wedding. Uh, it's kind of a growing friendship. These are my three favorite people in LA. We need some drinks up in this bitch. I think I'm gonna start with wine. Mezcal. Yeah? Oh, shit. Well, tequila. It's a fucking yeah? mezcal night. Or we could get a punch bowl. No. No, no punch bowl. We can't start with the punch we, bowl. We will leave hammered. Yeah. Their punch bowls are dangerous. Maybe we are gonna do a punch bowl. <laughs> punch bowls it is. Ordered a big punch bowl. So this is going to happen right so this now. Is the small. And this, this is, is the small. Size. Drinking out of the punch bowl is great. You're constantly refilling your drink and refilling your friend's drink. You feel like you're at kind of a little party. Let's get fucked up. I chose tart for dinner because I love the food there. Tart's American country goes to London, has an affair in Paris. So we're a little bit of like Southern, a lot of French technique, and a little bit of a spin off of the UK. I was the chef of tart for about a year before we opened St. Martha. Brussels sprouts with a chili vinaigrette. There's a, like a lime cream on the bottom, and then sunny side egg. It's like sectional. Run amok. Oh my god. <laughs> So good. I'm gonna get up all up in this shit. I think it's one of those places in LA that is just kind of 
hidden. People don't really know about it for dinner. It's an amazing brunch spot. It's a party during the day. And at night, it has one of the best patios, I think, in the city. The highlights of the old tart were, I think, probably the pig ears. So good. It's like chewy, cartilagey, meaty, same time. Oh my god, I win at life. I love the egg in the truffle jar. The flavors in the egg were very much throwback to sort of French food, but you know, it's egg and truffle and potato. Oh, damn. Yeah. Truffle and egg and love and everything good about. There, I think there's bacon. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of bacon. I think there. he was trying to hide that from me. It's very, very like. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Gladly. One thing that I love about the fried chicken at Tarte is they take the legs and they cure them, confit them like you would do duck confit. The very old school French. For the record, she does not eat meat. <laughs> I am a pescatarian. Married to a chefetarian. <laughs> I just try everything that he wants me to try. Tell people you're just try curious. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just try curious. <laughs> and of course. Tarts fries, I think, are some of the best in the city. It's like crack. Crack cocaine. Nick? Hey. Pete is the owner of Farmer's Daughter Hotel and Tart Restaurant. He's my business partner. He's just one of those people that you know you just enjoy being around. So you're coming by later? You're gonna come by St. Martha? 11.45-ish. 11.45-ish. So look at this, and this is before. Yeah, I'm kind of just one more and I'm there. This is before. You gotta be for a while. After. I know. It totally feels nostalgic to be there. You spend so much time in a place, you know, it becomes like home. But it's also nice to go back to that place and be on the other side and just be able to, to relax and hang out and have some drinks. Drink from the challenge. There you go. Drink yeah. from the challenge. Woo. Okay, stop. You need to go. <laughs> I need to go. I may or may not, as we were leaving, walked back and tried to polish off the last of the punch bowl. It happened. Oh. It was nice to have everyone in the car at this point. Boiling, boiling crab. crab. Yeah. Boiling crab it is. And we have a boiling crab, crab, crab virgin. Oh, yes. we do have a virgin. <laughs> yeah, Ben. You guys gonna crack my crab? I'm gonna crack my crab. Let's get all crab in the lucky. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. The boiling crab was where I was stoked to be. It's one of my favorite places to eat in the city. Kind of hidden away in a little strip mall situation. I kind of think the boiling crab is a Koreatown staple. We went there for Anar's birthday a year ago and I just kind of fell in love. <laughs> it's one of those places where I'm like, if friends come in from out of town, we're probably gonna get boiling crab. You guys been to boiling crab before? Yes, yeah, he is not. I am a boiling crab version. I'll start bibbing you yeah. first then. <laughs> yeah. 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 Getting all bibbed up. We're gonna do mussels, shrimp, Crawfish, blue crab, rice. Mild. Oh, mild. Mild, yeah, no. Full shebang mild? I'm not fucking out this shit. <laughs> Boiling crab will let you bring in your own beer or wine. This, this one right here. Alex is super into beer. He's kind of a craft beer guru. Made with dandelion um, that they pick every spring, and it's just super dry, incredibly refreshing, highly attenuated. It's a uh, Perfect for what we're about to eat. Cheers. The boiling crab. Boiling crab. <laughs> At the boiling crab, we got a pound of mussels, a pound of crawfish, a pound of shrimp, rice, potatoes, four crabs, I think. At this point, everyone is just going. It's just kind of, I mean, it was all of our faces and our hands. We're getting filthy in here. This is insane. This is like a fucking Gallagher show. Shellfish carcasses and big things of rice and mussels. Sweetheart. What is this happening? What's happening here? Well, you're not good at this. So you no. use, use this. <laughs> oh, I don't love that. Turns out we can eat some seafood. I feel like this is like Shaq yeah, eating lobster. Huh? Like Shaq like trying to eat lobster. <laughs> <laughs> so like your hands are too big. Yeah. This is fucking so much work. So on the wall of boiling crab, people just signed their name. So I, I was like, I have to. So I went and got a Sharpie. I went and signed my name. We left nothing on the table but just shells. <laughs> Thank you, man. Have a good night. This is not a night where people tap out early. All right, so next we're going to uh, HMS Bounty. We're just conveniently around the corner. Conveniently around the corner. HMS Bounty is kind of an old Mad Men-esque style dive bar. HMS Bounty is not fancy. 
Shots. All right, shots are gonna happen. Shots and debauchery. Well, shots happened at HMS Bounty first. Here's to K-Town. Here's to K-Town. For an amazing evening. I hate my life. <laughs> Re-rack the same thing. And that was the beginning of the end for everyone, I think. What was I saying? Arms out, no, you have to go full on. This is all I can do. What are, what are you doing? To the bounty. To the bounty. Let's do the shit. Bye, thank you. Bye, thank you, Bye. Thanks so Bye. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank now we're headed back to St. Martha and I am just ham sandwiched. Oh. oh my, really? I remember opening the door of St. Martha and our friends were here, my business partners were here, people I didn't even know were here. It was a fun place to end the night. Who's hungry? <laughs> we watch that real quick? I did come in and immediately grab a bottle of champagne and savor it. Cuts all over my mouth the next day. So we are doing lamb curry for our friends. Let's add some more Japanese curry and we're fucking good to go. I have the best sous chef in the world. My sous chef Aaron made an amazing smoked quince paste. So we braised the lamb for a couple hours and then put it on top of steamed sushi rice and pickled papaya. It's my favorite thing when I am a hammer and Two in the morning, this is it. Lamb curry. Yum. <laughs> it's one of the great joys of being a chef is to be able to gift this to your friends. One of the greatest powers I think food has is, is to bring people together. Food is really the least important thing. The most important thing is what happens around the table and who you're with and enjoying the company that you keep.